the story that we'll tell in this video is about the strangest but most amazing thing I think we've ever seen here on camera while we've been filming the critters in the backyard. This mama raccoon here and this little pup uh, kind of set out one morning here. We think that this was a pup that had been left behind uh, by the mom and then she came back for it and picked it up after she dropped off the rest of the, of the litter uh, at some other location and she kind of is looking to see if she can encourage the little one to come into that hollow log there and where she would stash it for the day while she went around you know and kind of took care of her other business or whatever and she couldn't get the little one to come into the hollow log so she goes to plan b uh, which is to go out across a field here uh, and travel about a hundred feet uh, through uh, a bunch of wildflowers well Ultimately, it turns out she's headed to where that fox is sitting. And because this is a fox den currently, and Mama Raccoon seems to be thinking that it's actually a raccoon daycare where she can drop off the pup for the day. And she's very wrong about that. Uh, but here she comes up over the brush that surrounds that fox den. She's carrying the pup in her mouth. And the fox is sitting there, uh, we'll see in just a second, watching all of this and seeing this mama raccoon come in with a baby uh, raccoon, escorting it in, and that it looks like this raccoon has a plan of putting the baby in under that tree stump for the day. And that is, in fact, a den under there where animals live. And this mama raccoon may have, once upon a time, uh, been in there. We know for a fact that this pup has not been. Well, you can see that the fox, this is the fox daddy. Uh, we know he's a male and he was guarding the little ones there. Uh, and he's kind of not really going for this idea of let's just drop off the raccoon pup here. Well, mama leaves. She's gone and she's really gone uh, for the day there. This is about nine in the morning and she is gone. Well, the daddy fox is, is objecting um, to Mama Raccoon's plan here. And here's this little raccoon who's, he doesn't know what's going on other than Mama just dropped me off at daycare. We've been to some weird daycare places and, and this one is not friendly, uh, not friendly at all. Well, while this was happening, we happened to be actually watching this live in real time. Uh, had been watching because the, the fox daddy and the pups were there and were playing you know, around and whatnot. And, you know, so we're seeing this happen and see this mama raccoon bring this pup in. And, and it was just kind of a wow, uh, crazy, uh, literally crazy mama raccoon that would do such a thing you know, to bring a baby in was nuts uh, here when she could see that fox sitting up on that high stump there. And, and here you can see kind of what we were seeing in real time that, you know, this can't possibly end well. You know, foxes eat baby raccoons. Uh, that's just the way of the world uh, around here. And, you know, Coyotes eat them, bobcats eat them, you know, whatever. And, you know, but foxes definitely eat baby raccoons. And, and here's an unprotected one in full view. And it's sort of like the mama raccoon just handing it over and that she's literally gone crazy or, or, or something. Because I, I just, and I still can't think of any other reason that this would have happened. Um, you know, so... The daddy fox is seeing this, this little one go underneath the dam. Well, uh, the fox knows what goes on. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's uh, under there, and, and that it's the little fox pups live under there, uh, and they sleep under there. And, and here goes this little raccoon under, and, and you know, wh what's he going to do? He, he, you know, well, oddly, what he does is he goes over and lays down. Uh, the fox does. And this is underneath.
it's crazy under there. The little fox pup isn't going to have it. And again, the question is, is, is there any possible way that this can end well? And it was quite distressing to watch it, I'll have to say. Uh, uh, but the fox pup eventually left it alone also. The little raccoon goes in, basically buries his nose in a corner and hides as well as he can in plain sight. Uh, you know, uh, but there's nothing really to do. And, and, you know, the little fox pups come in and check on it. And after a while, it seems like they decided that, wow, I guess we have a pet here or something. And nobody's bothering it anymore. And they'd get up, they are sleeping in there. And, and uh, fox pups would get up and kind of check on it and see if it was still there and whatnot. Well, here's the amazing thing that happens, is that after everybody's asleep, 12 hours after the pups got in there, he tiptoes out while everybody is sleeping. Daddy Fox is about 12 feet away from him right there outdoors. The three little ones uh, were, or two little ones, two little foxes were in there. And this raccoon slips out of there and is gone. He has escaped. He goes back to that hollow log where the mama had tried to leave him that morning. Uh, it's across the field. It took him two and a half hours to find his way over there. I don't know why, uh, but uh, he goes in there and sleeps for another two and a half hours, at which point the crazy mama raccoon eventually comes looking for him, finds him, and coaxes him out of there. Uh, well, it, I won't say coaxing, but calls him out. Uh, and, you know, they have a little you know, reunion love fest here of, I'm really sorry I did that, and, and I don't know what came over me, and I'm really glad you're alive and all that. I'm sure that was all, all said in that, that reunion there, because that's the kind of thing you would do uh, after you've almost thrown your pup into a snake pit. And they wander off into the sunrise, and so far as we know, have lived happily ever after.